everyone, it's your girl, Jail Beauty 87 here, and today we're going to get into another main chick, side chick situation. Yes, I know my eyes are two different colors. This is an IG tutorial I put up today on the new Charlotte Tilbury Chromium Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Scar, because of course that's the only color I really give a damn about. So, um, and we all know why it was blue and green and like gold and it's gorgeous. But today, like I said, we're doing another installment of main chick, side chick makeup. So... If you haven't seen any of these videos, it's basically like, instead of calling it a dupe or what have you, it's a product that's the same as another product. And if I didn't have like the high-end product, I'd be fine using the dupe version of the product and they do the exact same thing. So that's its purpose. Um, and that's why I call it the side shit. Because it's like, I got the main high-end product that I really like. However, if I, you know, don't have the money for the high-end product at that time or I'm on a budget and I can't necessarily buy the high-end product at that time, I'll go to like my side chick product and scoop that up real quick and use it. So let's get started. Now this first main chick, they don't even make anymore. These are those, um, what do they call these? I forgot the name of these. These were part of the, um, what collection is that? The, um, the natural one, the one with the natural face, natural eye palettes or whatever. This is a lipstick from them and it's in the shade overexposed. So, if I did not have this, let me swatch it so you can see how close they are in color. Now, mind you, now they're not the exact same formula. The other ones I'm about to show you is more matte. But at the end of the day, you could just add a gloss to it and make it be a little more creamy looking like this one does. I would use my side chick, which is this Makeup Revolution lipstick in this aid, Seclusion. I really like this lipstick. And it, I found it to be, like, close enough in tone. Like, look at that. It's close enough in tone to that one where if you add, like... A lip gloss this color on top of it it'll do the exact same thing as that lipstick and since that lipstick doesn't exist anymore it's like main chick when you run out side chick i'm stepping and do her thing um next i have some powders now y'all know i am obsessed with this powder right here this is the loose setting powder from minted cosmetics in the shade medium deep now this powder is absolutely wonderful let me show you what color it looks like and all that i love this powder for all of my face i think it does an excellent job i want to try the light medium one to see if that'll be good underneath my eyes but y'all know i got a medium power so i won't be doing that anytime soon probably like maybe the end of next year perhaps or even two years after that i won't need it since i only wear makeup on the weekend but um yeah this powder is amazing i absolutely love it so when i found the side chick product i was like hmm now, mind you, you don't get nearly as much product in the side chick, but again, the side chick, I think it's only like $5.99 at Ulta. I believe it's $5.99. I should have checked the price when I was in there today, but I didn't plan on filming this today. Anyway, um, this is 0 0.92 ounces, and the side chick is on 0 0.21 ounces, but I feel like if you bought like three of the side chick, it would still be cheaper than the um main chick, and they do the exact same thing. This is the My Perfection, um, what is it? My Perfection. My Skin Perfector Loose Setting Powder Instant Blurring Effect in the shade 40 Tan from Essence. This powder is absolutely amazing. I love it just as much as I love my um side chick um powder. So if I did not have the minted one, I would go ahead and use this one and everything would be okay. So, as usual, main chick, side chick. I have two more things and then I'll be done for right now. I forgot to bring the bronzer that was the main chick to these two side chick bronzers. So that'll be another time. And I'm already pulling out eyeshadow palettes to do another eyeshadow palette version. Because I like to do those every now and again too. We know we love eyeshadow here. And sometimes I have like um, doubles of eyeshadows. That's only one set here I have that um, I have both palettes too. So when I get the rest of them, then I'll probably shoot that one next week. I don't know when you're going to see this, but it'll get done eventually. So the next one I have is face palettes so i actually recently did a um comparison of these two face palettes and they're both um black influencer um face palettes so uh, first we have the dusk face palette by midas cosmetics and neon nua um mine doesn't look the way it's supposed to so please keep that in mind they sent me one that had i believe it has two contours in it or it might just be two yeah, I think it's two contours or it's two bronzes or something like that. They sent me two of one thing and they didn't put the highlighter up there. So I, when I DM'd them about it like 30 minutes later, they had already told me they sent me another one out, which was fine. I wasn't really tripping off it. I'm glad they sent it to me and somebody who wasn't going to like be bitching and complaining and saying they had horrible customer service or like they didn't know how to do their job properly or anything like that. Because it's a really beautiful palette. It's just I'm missing the highlighter. But this is the main chick when it comes to the face palettes because I absolutely love it. It went on smoothly and nice. And I actually sent the extra one to somebody, so 
I was fine with this one because it was just a gold highlighter. And y'all know I'm not really big on gold highlighters anyway. So the side chick is the Makeup Revolution and Tammy X face palette. I got the palette and I believe it's um dark. And I think she has one in deep dark as well. But I bought the dark one because I loved the blush in this one. So as you can see, this palette looks pretty much the same. Her blush is just more orange than... um. Neon and Blaze, and she has a gold highlighter just like he did. So I was like, they're about the same. I feel like her contour looks way more gray than his does, or maybe it just looks like that in the pan. If you want to see um, stuff on these products, you can go to my, um, you can check the other videos on my YouTube channel because I do have one comparing this one and the Neon Face Palette. I don't have one comparing the lipsticks. I have one comparing the last product, and I haven't done one comparing the um, setting powder yet or not. I can do that if y'all want. Let me know. Um, but yeah, so this is the side chick because I found that um, the contour was hard to blend and made me look really gray, whereas Neon's um, just performed a little bit better. So this is my main chick. And when they discontinue this, I guess it's going to be my side chick. But since both of them will be discontinued, it's like, is, it, is this really a main chick, side chick situation? I mean, for right now it is just because, you know, both of them are out. But once they're gone, I'll just have to find another face palette, I guess. But I have plenty to use from as we all know because I have quite the big collection. Okay, so the last thing I have is the Patrick Ta Dewey, was it, Dewey Milk Mist in She's Thirsty. So when I first tried this, I was like, why didn't I think of this um, sooner before I bought this? Because this is only, sorry, that's my stomach, y'all. It said I need to hurry up and eat 1.6 fluid ounces. And this, I believe, was $34 or $38. So it was kind of high. I mean, it has cute packaging and all that. I'm definitely going to keep the packaging even when I'm done with this product. And as you can see, I've started working on it. I really like it. I think it's really nice. So that's why it's the main chick. But this other one does the exact same thing. And it's way less because it's from L'Oreal. So, of course, it will do you just as good. This is the um, L'Oreal Lumi, what is it, Shake and Glow Dew Mist. And as you all know, I just use stuff like this. And I have used a little bit of this, too. I just use stuff like this to set the powders on my face and then set my face before I um finish before I do my buffing and then um finally spray my face whatever setting space I'm gonna use to actually grip the makeup so it's like I really didn't need the $38 one to do that I just wanted to try it because I love Patrick Todd but if I did not have Patrick Todd honey this one would work just fine you can find this at most Walmarts that's the only place I've still seen this collection out so I don't know if it was just exclusive to Walmart and they sold it on like um Ulta for a limited time and and in drugstores for a limited time but it like it's home it's walmart but that's the only place i've seen this anymore it's only ten dollars and it gives you three ounces for ten dollars versus 38 for 1.6 i mean the formula on this is beautiful and if like i could catch it on sale for like 25 percent off or something like that i would go ahead and buy it again just because i like the formula of it but it's like it's not really necessary so it's the main shit because it's bougie and extra and the side shit will work just fine like when i get done with this i will pour this in here and hopefully it'll work with the nozzle just fine but anyway, that's my main chick side chick video for this time. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all are diamonds. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.